Hey Fingsters! In this video I will quickly give you an overview about slicing in Python. So slicing is a Python specific concept to carve out a range of values from a sequence um, such as a list or a string and um, yeah, using start index and stop index to define the, um, the range of values you are carving out. And um, it is one of the most popular Python basic features and you need to understand this feature in order to uh, become more proficient in coding in order to like reach the intermediate uh, level in Python because it's also the basis of many advanced libraries such as NumPy or Pandas and so on. So all of those libraries use slicing as well and you need to understand slicing to uh, master these libraries too. And but also it's uh, like it's a very ba basic Python skill so um, understanding it will help you reading um, all code snip out all code base basically okay so say we have a have a string universe now you probably already know about like indexing basic indexing indexing means we simply access some characters so if we if we access so we use this bracket notation here we have the our uh, string variable s and we use the bracket notation and the index and the index specifies the uh, value from our string which we want to return, so the character we want to return. And um, in this case, so what is the uh, character with index zero? It's u, okay? What is the character with index, say, four? It's one, two, so it, this, is, this character has index zero, one, two, three, four. So it should be the character e, okay? You see it's character e. Okay, so now you understand indexing. Indexing, we start with uh, index 0 and then we just uh, add one index for each position in the string or in the list. So it's very, it's very similar to lists as well. Okay, so now it's, this is basic indexing. So indexing carves out, if you want, a substring of size 1. But slicing is a more general concept. It carves out, out a substring of arbitrary size, which means that, for example, we can um, specify, so I will give you the um, slicing notation now. So we specify a start index, say index 1, and an end index, say index 4, and then we like give, like we carve out this whole substring of our original string s. Okay, so we start with index 1, which is this one, and we slice all the way to the right until we reach the end index. But the end index is not included in the final slice okay so we have index 1 index 2 index 3 index 4 but 4 is not included so the result should be n i v let's check this so the result is n i v okay so the general nota uh, notation is like we have um, our word we have the start index the stop index and an optional stop step size we don't need to define the step size so you have seen here, we have not defined a step size. If we don't define a step size, then Python assumes the standard step size of one. Step size can also be larger than one, for example, if we specify the step size like this. Let's remove this. Okay, so we have now a step size of two. This basically means that we still carve out the whole substring, but we use only every other element. So we skip one element, which is the character i. Okay, so we start with uh, the start index, we end with the end index minus one included, and um, we use only every other element. We can also have, like, let's start with zero and end with um, eight. Now, if we take only every second element, then we get u, n, we skip, i, v, we skip, e, r, we skip, s. Okay, so we have u, i, e, s as a result. And now we can also take only every third element from the slice. Okay, so we have, now we take the, um, our first element is still the same, it's u, but then three, so we skip two elements, n and i, we take v, we skip two elements and take s, and that's it. Okay, so okay, this is basic slicing functionality. We can define a start index, stop index, and optional step size. Now let's dive even deeper into uh, slicing. For example, we can um, give empty. So we can like basically use this notation where we have empty star uh, empty um, range parameters. 
For example, we don't specify the start index, we don't specify the stop step, step size, uh, stop index, we only specify the step size. So in this case, for example, we can use this notation, with, uh, which basically means we start with the default argument, uh, default start value, we end with the default end um, index, and we use only every third element. And the default indices are for a positive step size, like here, the zeroth element as the start index and the final element. So these are the default elements, the default uh, parameters, zero and length of the string are basically the default ones. So we skip from the left all the way to the, uh, we slice from the left all the way to the right. Okay, let's check this. Okay, we still have UVS. So now we specified default indices here. And we also can use notation like this. So for example, we have default start index, which is the leftmost index. We have four, so we, we have end index four, and we have default end index, uh, def default step size. Okay, so it's default step size means step size of one. So now we can we can define step size of two, which would then skip every other element. Okay, so this is basically how it works. We can we have the start index, we have the stop index excluded from the slice. We have the step size. We can skip all of them using the default notation with only the only this column notation. Um, in this case, we would basically create a copy of the string and. We can um, now also specify negative indices. Okay, so here, for example, we can have negative minus one, which means if you have negative step size, then we basically re um, reverse the order of our um, of traversing the string. So now we reverse basically the string. So if we print this, you can see that we have universe in the reverse order. Okay, so we have negative step size. In this case, if you have negative step size, our default start index becomes the rightmost index of the string, and our default end or stop index becomes the leftmost index, which is zero. Okay, this was the other way around. If you use positive step size, our, our default start index is zero, and our default end, end, end index is the length of the string. So this just switches if you use negative step size. We can also use only every other element um, traversing the string from the other side. Then we have uh, this result. And um, we can also have a com combination, like maybe starting with with the fifth index and using default stop index, so other way to the left. Okay, so this is basically how it works. Let's consider a few questions. For example, what happens if we overshoot? So it, overshooting means that if you have the string, you have the default start index and we have end index 1000. So what happens? Nothing, nothing unexpected happens. We still have the original string. Overshooting is resolved by Python. So if you overshoot, like our index, our stop index size is much larger than the uh, maximum number of characters of the string, then it will just take the maximum number of characters. So it's very simple to resolve uh, by Python. Good, then um, we have a few questions left. Does it actually, how does slicing work if you have a list? So say we have a list of values, one, two, three, four, five. Now slicing works exactly the same. So if we access only every other element, we get one, three, five. If we use negative step size, we get the reversed list, five, four, three, two, one. If you use like default values, we um, the default values are used in list just as the default values are used for strings. So it's slicing is applicable to any sequence types. And if you know NumPy, slicing is also applicable to NumPy arrays because NumPy arrays are just multi-dimensional um, matrices, multidimensional sequence types if you want. Good, okay, that's it already. So now you know the basics of uh, of Python slicing, you know the most important information. I've written a, an ebook, Coffee Break Python Slicing, that is based on puzzle-based learning. So I present you a lot of Python puzzles and you solve them. This will help you understand 
these slice, slicing um, uh, code snippets much better and much faster. So it's important that you understand code fast. If you train your code understanding skills, then you will read code faster, you will write code faster, and you will be able to talk about code bases bet in a better way with your colleagues, for example. So I've, I've, this book is actually a free bonus book uh, of my other book, Coffee Break Python Slicing, also based on, on uh, puzzle-based learning. If you want, check them out. Otherwise, now you already know the very basics of uh, slicing. And this is one important stepping stone on your path to Python mastery. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.